Hello and welcome to this week's Elon Sports Institute podcast. I'm Christine Williams alongside Ben Naughton here, and we're going to discuss one of the most uh, interesting issues that we have going on here where we have the Texas University in Austin who has partnered with ESPN as far as branding the Longhorn Network and airing games. Yeah, it started back in, well, it first aired in 2011, and I mean, even before it went on air, it was causing more controversy. I mean, the Texas, the Longhorn Network is the reason, the main reason, Texas A&M left the Big 12 because they were afraid both as a recruiting tool for the University of Texas and Texas A&M felt kind of just as always like a younger brother to the uh, UT Austin, rather. Um, and from there, it, it, it hasn't really taken off like I think University of Texas and ESPN is expected to, but granted, it's only been played for about a year. And there's a lot of issues that come up with it. Can ESPN really remain unbiased when they have so much financial interest in this? It's a huge question you have to deal with. Yeah, I'm not really sure if they can remain unbiased in, in, in an issue like that because they're financially dependent exactly. on the University of Texas and the Longhorn Network doing well. So any time a reporter promotes the University of Texas, you almost feel like, you know, are they promoting them because it's, there's something relevant to talk about, or are they talking about it just because they want to promote their brand and make more money? An ESPN uh, executive said it's, it's no different than their deal with the BCS and any other sports league, but I, I, I don't know if I believe that just because there's so much at stake, and since this is the first program of its kind, and really, again, there's so much at stake, when you're talking about $300 million, it's hard to put that aside. That's right, $300 million over 20 years. And you've got to think about how this kind of impacts the reporters for ESPN, the ones who w really want to focus on the journalistic side. This puts them in an awkward position when they're trying to think about, you know, what do I, what do, I do here? How do I tiptoe exactly. around this? Exactly. How do I keep, you know, the, the Texas fans happy and ESPN happy while also keeping the rest of the country happy yeah. and, the, and the adversaries and opponents of uh, Texas? Let alone the the reporters for ESPN, mainstream ESPN, but mm -hmm. also the reporters for the Longhorn Network. There's one guy, I believe he's there, I forget which show he anchors for the Longhorn Network, but he's, he says, I'm a Texas fan since birth. His son is named Mac Brown. Which, I mean, there might be no, comp like this might be just a side, side issue, but when you come into things like that, with, when people are so invested in college sports, it's it, a really sticky issue. It does get a little bit dicey. You've got a, a lot of different ways where you could look at this. Also, you look at, you know, most, most leagues have their, their right, own networks right, exactly. and things like this. And Fox has a deal with the, the Big 12 Conference already. Exactly. So this is kind of taking away from some of their money, some of their interest. And you start looking at this, then where are other schools going to you know, start playing into this? Notre Dame has already tried. They and talks, yep. There are talks of them getting their own network, but now with them going into the ACC, you know, how it, that works. How I'm, that plays out, because ACC has their own network. Exactly. I remember, I guess it was last summer when Texas was talking about moving to the pack. 10, which is the Pac-12 now, I mean, the Pac-12 didn't want them solely because, well, I don't know if solely because, but the Longhorn Network played a huge role in that. And Texas is really the only school of its kind just because it's so large and because you can't go to, say, an airport and not see someone wearing a, a UT hat or something like that. I mean, their fan base is so big. They're the only school, maybe Notre Dame can do it soon, but they have that deal with uh, NBC for a while now. So it is a big culture issue down there. Longhorn Network, we'll see where it goes from right. here. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, uh, be sure to visit our, all of our podcasts on the Elon Sports Institute.